So guys, today we had finally the confirmation of the next event tank. It will be the Boxer MGS and a lot of people are mad about it. A lot of people are happy about it. But what if we could choose five tanks that could actually be added that are better option or at least more fun options in my personal opinion than the boxer as a german event tank what would those five ideas be like and at the end of the uh, at the end of the video i have kind of a surprise that all of these things are I'm gonna say in the end of the video, but let's get going. So the first one, I have to talk about it, although it would be kind of OP, maybe. We don't know exactly because of the shell. Uh, and it would probably need some other prototypes like this uh, being added. So I don't know about this one. The first one, I, I like it a lot. I really love this thing, but I don't know about it, right? And it's the Leopard 2140. Yes, guys, with the Soviet threat in the late stages of the Cold War, becoming even greater due to the tests and intentions of the Soviets to use a larger gun like the 152mm, the Germans wanted to introduce a counter to that idea. With a Leopard 2, of course the main tank that they used at the time, using a 140mm gun. It was calculated that that type of gun would be twice as more powerful in the terms of energy than the original 120 millimeter at the time with the fall of the soviet union happening in the early 90s and the leopard um, just basically becoming not needed uh it got cancelled but still it would be a cool event vehicle you will notice how all of these vehicles there are vehicles that you know they could be added because there are no, no prototypes or anything or something like that, right? It had a new turret, obviously, to be able to handle the 140 millimeter. Some claims that uh, it actually managed a 2,000 meters per second speed in this gun, so probably the fastest sable in the game. And you know, we had an auto loader to handle the weight of the shell because it was too heavy for a loader to load it. Uh, it used only 32 shells, 10 less than the normal Le Leopard 2s. Uh, and he had protection levels of a Leopard 2A5. They wanted to build 650 of them, but the Germans being German, and of course I came from a German kind of household with my grandmother and stuff, so uh, I know what they talk about over here, that they thought the outloader would just be too unreliable, and yeah, no, we don't want the autoloader. So <laughs> with that and the Cold War ending, uh, they just binned the project. Okay, it would have 62 tons, so very heavy, but with almost 1,500 um, horsepower. I mean, it's around 1,500, depends on if you're using metric or non-metric horsepower, you know, but still. It could get up to 68 kilometers per hour, and it had a 24 horsepower per ton uh, thrust weight, which is pretty good. So, very cool tank. Maybe the gun is too OP, but the armor wouldn't be maybe that good because we already have two A7s and stuff. So, I don't know. Maybe it could be added depending on the gun itself. I have a feeling that this gun would be too OP maybe, but still, it would be cool to see it. Then we have some goofy tanks that I think we need adding. The first one is the M113 Fire Support Combat Vehicle. This would be a perfect event vehicle. Why? Well, the Germans were substituting the old M113s with the brand new Martyr 1 in the late 70s, and they decided to try to do something with the large amounts of 113s that they had in the storage. Uh, that's what the FSCV is, or the Fire Support Combat Vehicle. It is sometimes also called the M113 Stug. They changed the tank to be able to use a 105mm XM103 howitzer gun with no traverse, which means that it would be like the STRV-103. You would actually control the tank itself to traverse the gun. It would use heat rounds, hash rounds, NHE, and of course, some smoke as well. And it has a very low velocity on the gun, so it would be hard to use, but it would be a fun little weird tank to have as an event vehicle. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about the 113 with an STRV-like idea over here. Then we go for the next one, which is kind of weird, but, I mean, hear me out. It's kind of a stretch, but hear me out. So the T-72S. The T-72S is actually a T an export model of the T-72B. It was actually planned to be used by the Germans, but uh, 
it would probably be delivered after 1995. 1995 and of course he never got that far due to the reunification and the fall of the soviet state right but it would be a very cool tank well the idea here is that it would be a t-72b the early one with the original contact one era but with around 70 bricks less of era a different engine a simplified mbc and, and no anti-radiation lining so in the game it would be just a t-72b with a different engine and uh with less um era and it would fire similar rounds and stuff like that being the same br even um so it would be a cool t-72 to be in a 10.0 br and i know it never got added to the like german army so it is kind of a stretch a big stretch even but it would be still very cool and a lot of people would want this tank to be added again i mean the first two were prototypes that only one got built and this one never saw service but that's the thing uh this tank actually existed but it didn't saw service in the german you know tanks uh in the like army so it's kind of a stretch but at the same time it isn't that big of a stretch maybe some skins for other countries that use the tank something like that and of course event vehicles are you know vehicles that are good for uh, because they are export models or prototypes or vehicles that couldn't really be added to a tech tree because of a certain mechanic or anything like that that's why event vehicles are so cool they are not maybe that you know competitive sometimes but they are very very cool no matter what right the fourth one is the martyr 2 guys the design to substitute the older martyr 1 in the german army it didn't saw service due to the cold war ending again <laughs> so uh it is a perfect event vehicle the objective of the martyr 2 was to do especially two things to be safe from the front uh, from the BMP-2 gun, so the 30 millimeters in general, uh, from the front, again, from the front, of course, sides and stuff, it would be, you know, 50 cal or 14.5 millimeter protection, but still, uh, as well as remaining mobile enough to move together with the Leopard 2s. So it was basically, um, you know, an evolution of the Martyr 1. It was quite heavy for an IFV with around 44 tons. It's pretty heavy. It's almost the weight of a russian mbt for example he had a redesigned turret to hold a multi-caliber gun and that's the cool factor that i think it just needs to be added because of this it could actually change from a 35 millimeter or a 50 millimeter gun by just changing the barrel and some other things in the game this feature could be added with a hanger change in modifications or something similar maybe even a battle change you know you could uh, i don't know wait one minute uh in real life it took some minutes you know several minutes but it was quick enough uh that it could change the barrel and it was a multi-caliber gun so you had to change the feed of the gun you know the reloading mechanism a little bit and the barrel and it would just change from a 35 millimeter to a 50 millimeter which is pretty interesting right uh, so it could be like an in battle kind of situation maybe you cannot change and not use that many rounds of the 50 millimeter or i don't know some form of cool little battle feature like that uh it had around 120 millimeters of penetration with the 35 and around 180 millimeters with the 50 so very very good penetration for uh such you know low caliber guns uh, of course using fps ts's um had thermals and other rounds like APDS as well, NHE with time fuse, and it had around 1000 horsepower uh, in its engine being able to carry up to 62 kilometers per hour, so low armor, but amazing auto cannons, pretty mobile, and a cool feature of a multi-caliber gun, so that would be very, very cool to see as an event vehicle, again, does it have a place in the tech tree? Yeah, it does. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's a one prototype. Like it's a prototype that never got fully produced. So maybe as an event vehicle, it could be added with Gaijin's line of thinking with this type of vehicle, right? And the last one, it's the Panzerhaus BC Drei Thousand. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. I probably butcher it. But it is the Panzerhaus, sometimes called the Panzerhaus, which is a self-propelled arty with a very, very modern look onto that. So it could be added to the tech tree, but honestly, they normally are not adding these types of... I mean, sometimes they do, but sometimes they are not, so I don't know. 
Gaijin could add it as a tech tree, but as an event as well. So hopefully it gets added to a tech tree, but if it's never going to be added as a tech tree, it could be added as a, an event vehicle to just be added. You know, please just add it. That's the line of thinking that I think of a, about it, right? So um, to be honest, it would probably be difficult to use but still um it has a 155 millimeter gun that can fire six to eight rounds per minute uh any nato round can be used here so the sky is the limit doesn't have a large amount of armor of course but it can take the 14.5 millimeter guns of the soviets uh but it has a separated compartment with vents uh, for the ammo to save it from ammo explosions and it would be a highly mobile low armor rd that can fire a lot and very big HE shells, uh, so I don't know about the BR, but it would be a very cool and weird vehicle that is very large and, you know, very modern as well with laser, like, uh, range finders and stuff like that that could actually be effective with a gun like this. And a six second reload if they want to, like, man, this thing can deploy some HE, right? And what is the surprise about all these vehicles? All of these vehicles, guys, they were passed to the developers for consideration. So Gaijin is already considering these suggestions that are made by many players. I will leave the links in the description for all the suggestions. But guys, this is already considered by Gaijin. So why not add something like this? I know they wanted to add the boxer. But again, these are five options that i think would be way cooler than the boxer this is just obviously my opinion they can do whatever they want and i would get the boxer no matter what it is a cool vehicle but i would see that these vehicles are so cool that i mean it would be you know a shame to not see them but yeah guys basically this is it let me know in the comments what are five german tanks that you would see as an event vehicle in the next event or in this event if the boxer wasn't there and I see you guys on the next one. So bye guys and see ya. Subscribe.